New Ford E-Transit Custom for 2023. Will this be the best electric transporter? Ford will bring the Transit Custom van in an electric version in 2023. The first key data of the up to 217 horsepower Stromer make you sit up and take notice. More than a year before the actual market launch, Ford has now introduced the E-Transit Custom. With the electric version of the popular panel van, which according to Ford is the best-selling vehicle in its class in Europe, the electric age is set to arrive with force after the limited success of the Transit Custom PHEV. Above all, technical details and performance data should ensure this, which could put the Ford Transporter ahead of the e-transporters from other manufacturers. This competition, currently mainly with the structurally identical models from the Stellantis Group at the start, has so far been characterized by rather restrained performance data. With the late market launch, Ford obviously wants to counteract this with a significant increase in performance, similar to the large electric transit. With the basic engine, a 100 kilowatts, 136 horsepower electric machine, you are on an equal footing with the competition. But a second performance version, which accelerates with 160 kilowatts, 217 horsepower, puts the e-transit custom at the top of the pack, at least in the current market offering. Batteries from the Ford F-150 Lightning, the transporter with a payload of up to 1,100 kilos doesn't have to hide when it comes to the remaining power. A battery with the cell technology of the US pickup Ford F-150 Lightning is used as the driving battery, which achieves a 12% higher energy density than the battery of the large E-Transit. 74 kWh of usable capacity are available, which according to Ford is sufficient for a WLTP range of 380 km. The new E-Transit Custom also picks up speed quickly at fast charging stations. The onboard charger can fill up with up to 125 kilowatts of electricity. In this respect, too, the Ford is ahead of the E-Vans from Stellantis Citroen, Fiat, Opel and Peugeot, whose battery also has a lower capacity of 69 kWh net. In both performance variants, the electric motor delivers a maximum torque of 415 Nm, again a best value in its class. Reason enough for Ford to allow the E-Transit Custom to tow a proud 2 tons, more than any other power box in this segment is allowed to do. Including 2 tons trailer load, a new vapor injection heat pump contributes to the efficiency, according to Ford the first ever in an electric car, which provides heating and cooling of the cabin and is said to be particularly economical. When the appropriate program is selected, the electronically controlled brake system enables so-called one-pedal driving, in which maximum recuperation when the accelerator pedal is released makes the use of the mechanical brake superfluous in many traffic situations. In order to keep the brake discs free of rust film when not in use, the system automatically applies the brake pads at suitable intervals. The E-Transit Custom has a three-phase charger installed as standard for charging with alternating current at wall boxes or public charging stations. With a charging capacity of 11 kilowatts, it should be possible to fully charge the empty battery in around 8 hours. The fast charger with 125 kilowatts direct current is given 41 minutes to charge from 15 to 80 percent. Another value from the charging socket, 38 kilometers of driving distance can be bunkered in 5 minutes. Ford has programmed a special charging profile for short charging stops. Independent suspension instead of rigid axle, the battery of the E-Transit Custom is bolted to the body, and the electric motor mounted directly in the chassis is used on the rear axle. It controls two axle drive shafts, in contrast to the Combustion Transit Custom, their rigid axle, the Ford E-Transit Custom has an independent wheel suspension. This will be reflected in increased driving and suspension comfort. For commercial users, the new Ford E-Transit Custom also has a few clever features on board. Delivery drivers can, for example, order the Delivery Assist Equipment Package, which activates the hazard warning lights if required, and automatically locks the side windows and doors when leaving the car. When you return, everything opens up again on the previous level and the journey can continue. A digital key in the smartphone is used, with which the owner or fleet manager can give several people defined access to the car. As with the e-Transit, the Pro Power onboard system can also be ordered for the e-Transit Custom. This allows tools and machines to be operated with a power consumption of up to 2.3 kilowatts, a practical feature especially for craftsmen. In general, you can choose from various configurations with e-Transit Custom. The body is offered as a single and double cab with a partition to the cargo area or as a station wagon. 
There are also two wheelbases and two roofs of different heights, with the low model remaining under 2 meters high and therefore suitable for underground parking. Depending on the version, the loading volume is between 5.8 and 9.0 cubic meters. In the longest version, the loading area is 3.45 meters long. With the assistance, the electricity box is of course up to date. The equipment includes a pre-collision assist, the lane assistant, a drowsiness warning, cruise control and a traffic sign recognition. Also on board as standard, the intelligent speed limiter, the wrong way driver warning function, front and rear parking sensors and, depending on the equipment level, a 360 degree camera. A practical detail is the adjustable steering wheel, which can be folded up. It can be used as a shelf or table mat when standing. In addition, it is easy to get out of the driver's seat on the passenger side, because there are no shift levers located on the steering column, and no hand brake levers electric parking brake in the way. Instead of two individual airbags, a large front airbag is installed in the roof lining above the windshield. This creates an additional large storage compartment at the otherwise usual airbag assembly point in the dashboard. It will be a while before trade, business and private buyers can get their hands on the electric van. Ford does not intend to start series production until autumn 2023. The e-Transit Custom is built by Ford Odosin, a joint venture between the Turkish Koch Holding AS, and Ford. It rolls off the assembly line at the Koseli plant in Golcik near Istanbul. Prices will only be announced before the market launch.